A lot of my friends have been directly affected by having junk food addiction and just having junk food in their life because it's the most accessible, it's the fastest and it's the cheapest option. A lot of my friends have also had the issue of living with obesity. On campus, the most accessible food is food that is fairly unhealthy. It's normally burgers, sandwiches, chips. That's what your friends will order. So it, it does give you that pressure to order for yourself. Our food environment is very obesogenic. Children are surrounded by all this unhealthy food. The food that is sold in schools is not healthy. Food that they're provided around schools is also not healthy. When they go home, where their parents access food, food that is sold through our supermarkets, it's ultra-processed in nature. And children are consuming this food on a daily basis. All the snacks that are sold to our children, be it through the canteens, the tuck shop, they really don't sell good, nutritious food to children. Walking through the grocery store, I see a lot of bright colored, creative packaging that's normally on unhealthy foods. And all these things catch the human eye. All these things, like the typeface, the, the color schemes, they all are so vibrant and they're so enticing that you just want to grab it off the shelves. I know that marketing is more something that plays to your emotions and it plays to a specific feeling and that's what a lot of junk food marketing has tapped into and I think it's something that they've perfected is that they encapsulate an experience and an emotion around a specific product. It'll almost be aspirational for those onlookers. It really grows a culture around it and it makes you want to buy into that culture. Social media is that invisible hand because it is not very much in the radar of your policymakers. The food industry is, I would say, 10 steps ahead of the regulatory framework. The issue of marketing is all over. Children now have got access to cell phones. These uh, adverts are sent to them on a regular basis. Everywhere they go, all the time, throughout the day. And this really affects their choices. There's this delivery app that we have here in South Africa. They're always sending me notifications about discounts, deals, looking at the discount and actually having to tell yourself, okay, no, this is not healthy for me. I'm not gonna eat this now. And you just have to swipe away. What we want to see about the future of South Africa, that in food environment has to put children in the center. My ideal healthy food environment is an environment that allows creative, tasty, healthy options at an affordable cost. <laughs>